Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 23 that says merge k sorted list. So here you are given an array of k linked list uh, and each linked list is sorted in ascending order. So that means you are given the one list. So this is a complete list and inside this list you have multiple linked list. So this is linked list 1, linked list 2, linked list 3 and each uh, linked list is sorted in ascending order. Okay. Now in the output, we need to return single linked list in a sorted manner. That means we need to return one sorted linked list. So this one sorted linked list will contains nodes of all this internal linked list of the input and you need to return this all these nodes in such a way that they are sorted. Got it? So yeah, as you see in this first example that here inside this list you have L1, L2, L3. Means that means three linked lists, three different linked lists and all the linked lists inside this list are already sorted. Now you need to return one uh, linked list as our answer that contains nodes of all this. That means they will contain 1, 4, 5, 1, 3, 4, 2, 6. Means it will contain all these uh, nodes but in sorted manner. In sorted manner. So you need to return something like this as our answer. Okay, got it. Now if there are no list, uh, means the complete list is empty. So you return, you, you will return empty. Now if this list contains one linked list, but the single linked list is itself empty. So the, in that condition also return the empty list. Got it? Now one simple approach to solve this question or the brute force approach to solve this question is store all the values of the given list in the, into the array or vector, sort the values and create a new uh, linked list from the sorted value. So let me explain you this. So let's say you are given the list like this. So list contains multiple linked lists in a sorted array. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 uh, and uh, 5, 8. So this is the list you are given in the input. So what you do as the, as the first step says, you will store all these values of this list into one vector. So now vector will contain values like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 4, 7, 5 and 8. Okay. Now the second thing you have to do is to sort the values. So after sorting you will get something like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 8. Okay. Now in the third uh, step what you have to do, we have to create a new linked list. So new linked list and store all the values. So let's say you get, create a node 1 with a value 1 and make new linked list had uh, a, a to node 1. Now create uh, a new node n2 and point n1 of next to n2 such and make n2 values to 2. Similarly create no, a node 3, make value of node 3 to 3 and just point next uh, n2 next to n3 and similarly up to all the elements. So this is one way to solve this question but uh, this is not good in terms of prime complexity as you guys can see let's say if there are n elements and number of all elements okay these are here n is 8 3 plus 2 plus 2 no n is 7 so let's say here for all n elements what we are doing we are doing sorting so that's why sorting will take n log n time complexity and then we will be creating linklets based on the sorted values. So this is one approach. Now the next approach is, see the thing here is that all the uh, lists inside this link list, so all the means all the lists, all the link list inside this list means there are multiple link list L1, L2, L3, but these are sorted, sorted internally. All these are sorted. Okay, got it. All these are sorted internally. So what you can do? Let's let me take uh, L. Uh, so what you can do, you can merge L1, merge L2. Now this merge function, what we, how much time complexity it will take? It will take only big O of n time complexity because internally they are sorted. So let's say if list 1 contains element like this, 1, 2, 5, 7 and list 2 contain element like this, 2, 3, 6. So what you have to do, you simply what do, you simply compare the first element. If whose first element is lesser, this is. So if you push this. Now this pointer will point here, okay. Now which is lesser? This. Now this pointer will point here. Five and two. Which is lesser? Two. Now make this pointer point here. So that's why keeping a pointer, let's say pointer P here and pointer Q here, we will traverse all the nodes of the linked list one, all the nodes of the linked list two, and merge them in a sorted manner, right? Three, five, six, seven, and this would be the merge merge sorted list of L1 and L2, and we will return the, we will return something like L12. So this is now the new linked list that contains all the nodes of L1 and L2 and in the sorted manner. And since these are sorted internally, so overall here the time complexity would be what? You how many times you will traverse this? This you will traverse. Uh, let's say here the number of nodes are n1, number of nodes are n2. 
so you will traverse here uh, n1 plus n2 times you will traverse uh, to merge l1 and l2 okay so this many times because these are the total number of nodes in l1 and l2 so this many times you will traverse okay got it so uh, so yeah what you will do you will you have something like this l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 what you will do merge l1 and l2 then in the next step merge l1 1 l this complete thing l1 2 2 3 then merge l1 2 3 4 and then merge l1 2 3 4 with l5 so it will be this so this is how what we do is we are simply uh, we simply take the first uh, list merge with the second see this this head contains list 0 and now uh, this uh, list of i is what is i is 1 so we are simply merging uh, list uh, at index 0 uh, merge uh, list at index 1 so we are simply merging them now this will become what list a uh, list of 0 let me just name it as list 0 and then we are what there we are again doing merge so this is a complete loop this is from i up till the length then we are doing a merge with a list of what list 2 then uh, we, since this are so let me name it as list of 0 1 2 and then we are doing merging with list of a uh, list at index 3 so this simple thing that we are doing here by merging the list so not talking about the time complexity here the time complexity would be big of n into k where n is the total nodes and k is the total number of linked list or size of the list or you can say size of input list so input is if the input list will contains three linked lists so k would be three in that case so overall our time complexity would be n into k because for the k times we are calling this merge function and each time we are merging n uh, n nodes means almost it will be n into k uh, here the time complexity it would be like a overall uh, time complexity you can say this but but the best uh, approach to solve this question is by using merge sort so in this merge sort uh, there are two steps one is the divide step and one is the concord step okay and if you uh, guys have some knowledge about the merge sort then it would be easy to understand this so let's say initially you have something like this as an input list l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 l6 so there are six linked lists in the initial list so now how the divide step works so we divide this complete list into two parts let me take it as l1 l2 l3 and l4 l5 l6 then we again divide it into two parts like this is how divide divide occurs l1 l2 and here only l3 and here l4 l5 and only l6 okay then we again divide this l1 and l2 and here also we again divide l4 and l5 so we, we divide this list until no more division is possible so now is there any division possible no now all the nodes are only single linked list then what we do this is the division step then we concur so in concur step what we do we simply combine combine or merge we call this merge function so in, in the merge we merge one and two so this is one step then we merge with three and we produce l one two three here also we uh, merge l four five then we merge with this uh, and produce l four five six and at the end we merge l one two three with four five six so we we get our answer this is our answer this contains all the nodes in a certain manner so this is how divide and concur steps work so first divide up till um, the start become the end so this is the condition or termination condition of a divide step this is when with no more division is possible so then if uh, once divide this and uh, then by recursive approach uh, uh, just simply merge them or concur them so this is how divide and concur work uh, in a merge sort now uh, talking here about the time and space complexity so uh, let me again draw this so let's say you have a list something like this l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 l6 so here what you will do initially you will merge these two these two and these two so it will be l1 2 l3 4 l5 6 then you will merge these two and it will be l1 2 3 4 then you will merge these two l1 2 3 4 5 6 so so as you guys can see that initially uh, let's say the size of this is k then how many uh, different number of lists possible it's k by 2 okay then k divided by 2 then how many lists are possible it's k divided by 4 and at the end you will there is only one as our answer so yeah guys uh, the thing here is that by using merge sort so here how many times we uh, how many elements we much n then here also n and here also n so overall what the thing here is the time complexity here 
reduce from uh, n n into k uh, so it reduced from this to n into log of k why log of k because at the initial at the first step we are uh, merging how many k by two pairs then in the next step we are merging k by four pairs in the next step we are merging k by eight pairs so that's why we are at at the end we will merge log base two of k number of pairs and that's why uh, our time complexity would be n into log of base two of k so this is how the time complexity uh, of a simple merging reduced to this log of log base two of k by using merge sort by using divide and conquer okay so i hope you guys understood this approach uh, and if you have still any doubts of why this uh, from from n into k it reduced to n into log of k so uh, so this is the reason that the size of k just reduce initially in this approach we are uh, simply making uh, merging all n nodes k times but here we will only merge log of k times so yeah that's why the merge sort is a better approach to solve this question and if you talk about the code here code is simple this is a simple merge sort where this is a divide step and this is a concord step so yeah uh, that's all th so that's all for this merge sort so yeah that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts uh, for this uh, question then do let me in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you